So I'm going to show you how to play a game called Add and Match. It's a very simple game which builds up maths fluency, specifically round up adding up numbers. Um, so start off with the children, get them to draw a noughts and crosses grid, then get them to draw a box around the outside of there. And then I'm using a 10-sided dice. You can uh, make the game harder or easier by using a different dice. So I've rolled a 1 there, so I'm going to put that in a box. Now the person I'm playing against would roll the dice. They've put a 1 in a box on their grid as well. So it's a 4, so I put a 4 here. The person I'm playing against puts a 4 somewhere in their grid. I'm going to call that a 0, sometimes I can call it a 10. I'll put that in there. The person I'm playing against has put that number in there. So at the minute we've both got three numbers in our grids. It could be we've got them in the same spot. And I will say to the children, you can copy mine. If you do that, it'll be a draw, and that's quite dull. If you put them somewhere else, you might lose, but you might win as well. There, oh, a one. I'll put that there. Can put that four there. And last but not least, we have got a nine. So both me and the person I'm playing against have filled up our grids. What do we do now? We add them up. So four and seven and zero comes to eleven. Seven and four is eleven, and nine is twenty. 1 and 4 and 1 is 6. 0 and 9 and 1 equals 10. 7 and 4 and 4 equals 15. And 7 and 4 is 11 and 1 equals 12. So, as you can see there, we have got 6 answers to adding up the rows and the columns. None of those add up. But, if I show you a game that I played earlier... As you can see here, on this game, we've got two lines that both add up to 10. I've circled those, and I add both of those up, and that is my total score for this game, 20. I only count the ones where there is a match. So sometimes you end up with zero, like on the game I played live there. Or sometimes you end up with much bigger scores. If there were three columns with 10, my score would be 30. Sometimes all of them match up. Kids do enjoy playing the game. I've played it from P3 up to P7. As I said, you can use uh, a dice that's got bigger numbers or smaller numbers. All you need beyond that is a pencil and piece of paper.